<clears throat> the coffin in which your bones lay to rest was on display at the African American History Museum. I couldn't bring myself within 20 feet of your disenfranchised soul without feeling like humanity has failed you. Those responsible for your eternal minstrelsy sold your story for $3,500 to a magazine after their acquittal, using double jeopardy as their punchline. They all but used your blood as toothpaste for their photo op. I was ashamed. I stood frozen, as if not to awaken your ghost and tiptoed out of that room facing you. So you know three things. I love you, Emmett. I see you, Lewis. And I refuse to turn my back on this injustice till. That's the first one. This one is the most recent one. I, I wrote this one like 12 hours ago. <clears throat> Addie Mae Collins, Cynthia Wesley, Carol Robertson, and Carol Denise McNair. Too young and not enough flesh to tip your scales. Robert Edward Chambliss. You died proclaiming your innocence on October 29th, 1985, only to come back and haunt me 24 hours later. How dare you return? to reap what you cowardly sowed on that faithful, fateful day in Birmingham. And how dare you use his hands to lay dynamite at my foundation and attempt to, I said attempt to, destroy a promising life. So, okay. Those were a bit, ooh boy, but these, these are about love, so okay. <laughs> Rest easy, my babies. Okay. <clears throat> I love you like my lips love a chilled mango in the dead of summer. Because when the time is right, you remind me of how sweet it is to wait for the right one. And boy, is it sweet. You love me like my hips love swaying to anything remis reminiscent of my childhood. The cadence, bass, and trouble of you moves me. My tears love you and trust you enough to fall into your palms without question that you will keep them safe. And our love is like the deep cut and the B-side of any album. There is so much more to this mainstream endeavor. Okay. And this is a bit of an oldie, but I revamped it, so here we go. <laughs> Dear one, I wish you were here to see how much he loves me. He isn't the one that helped make you, but he would have held you as if he did shown you how to open the door for your beloved, how and when to cradle their arms when their reality is burdened by the weight of their past. Sing them a lullaby of dreams and weave them into a quilt of happy, just like he did for your mama, with such patience, poetic, persistent patience. Come back to me, child. I want you to hear how beautiful the city sounds when the leaves are, greet are greeted by your tiny feet, how the puddles that gather in the concrete craters become your symphony, and your laughter, the audience you play to. Your moon face to rule over the ebb and flow of the waves, and your eyes to flicker like the light from a candle set atop an altar, in tribute to St. Anthony, Yamaya, and Celia Cruz. I yearn to fill your ears with Motown, salsa, and rock and roll, to whistle Sinatra while you sleep, and marvel over you singing Nina Simone to me on the rainiest of days. Amor mio, the joy that springs from the space that you once occupied frees me from grief and allows me to believe that one day you will dazzle our house with your pitter-patter, vibrate the floors with your reckless abandon, and make every car roof your stage when you want your mama and daddy to come fly with you. But not yet. You were and still are a life lesson in waiting. Only the fates will decide whether I'm ready to learn you yet. Until then, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, yeah. That's all. Ten minutes. Oh, is that only five? Oh. Come keep going. Okay. Sing a little bit more. You gotta keep rocking, <laughs> Thank you. Um, sure. but the way my stage fight is set up, no. So, um, okay, I'm just going to riff. Um, Move the mic up. Oh, like this? You guys can hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, I wanted to uh, speak about homing devices and uh, how they are designed to help 
airplanes or whatever find their way to a destination. Um, my boyfriend, Jason Gallagher, he has uh, attention deficit, but I don't see it that way. <laughs> I see it as unlimited imagination, which is cool. <laughs> I love it. Good um, definition. <laughs> so um, we saw, um, most recently, like two or three months ago, we saw um, Finding Dory, and Dory has um, short-term memory loss. And uh, after that ugly cry session that he and I both had, we were inspired. And uh, there's this one thing in the movie um, about how Dory's mother um, helped Dory find her way home by using purple shells. And we got matching tattoos on our purple shells because, and I'm going to start crying because it's real, um, when he wanders off, mentally, emotionally, whatever, uh, I want to be that homing device for him. Wow. Just like he is for me. <laughs> And a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's, it's, this stage is too small for all the stories I have. So, um, let's see. How much time is that? <laughs> Keep going, you got plenty of time. I'm still going, okay. You got nine minutes left. I got nine minutes. <laughs> Ooh wee, being a poet is a tough job. This is recent for me, okay? So just bear with me. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna throw this one out there, see what happens. <clears throat> When you see me walk, hear my footsteps, the signature of my heels on the pavement, know this. It's not my heels. It's the manifestational weight of my soul as it sways left to right, announcing to the world, I am here, and I have seen some shit. And I won't ever take none from anyone. Not you, not you, and not you. That's it. That's, that's it. <laughs> This was, I'm, I'm gonna call this one Facebook poem because it was a Facebook poem. <clears throat> you welcome the scars because it's what led me to love without conviction, with conviction. Loving the ropes that tied my hands because it created space for your kisses again and again thereafter. You throw poetry at my feet to decorate my path under the agreement that flowers belonged in a vase or vase, fresh, on a dining table under open windows, or in my hair if there's a revolution to sing of on a Sunday. That's enough. Beautiful. Uh, thank you. And, oh, oh, there you go. I write a lot of random things, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> in a world of chaos, lover, be still, and I'll cover you. Pry your fingers off the remote when your empathy dots spill over into madness and massage your mind to the point of nirvana using the foolproof plan of a live stream of kittens in a sanctuary on YouTube. And I, I, I believe I've run out. Okay. <laughs>